So today is another episode of Watch This Before You Buy, and today we're going to be covering Polygon or Matic. Now, of course, this used to be Matic Network, and then they shifted over to Polygon, and recently they've been very highly searched. A lot of people have been requesting Polygon, so we'll be taking a look at some fundamentals and some technicals. So if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more, and let's get straight into it. So we've got Polygon currently sat around 80 cents. We're up about 2% on the day, which is nice to see, and you can see the one-day chart, a very nice uptrend indeed over the last seven days it's been all over the place pretty much and of course like most things over the last three months we've seen a bit of a dip with a small rally in between so if we take a look over here they've actually hit a good milestone recently on a fundamental search so layer 2 scaling solution polygon squashed a new milestone in user activity and you know this is something that we like to look for on crypto busy there's kind of social engagements as well as people actually holding the coin and in this even bearish market you know polygon Polygon surpassed 200 million in total unique addresses according to Polygon Scan. So the distinct number of addresses is actually going up almost 600,000 every day, which again is insane considering how difficult this year has been for cryptocurrency. So very, very exciting that for Polygon and congratulations to them. Obviously, just a heads up, I'm not sponsored by Polygon and I'm not being paid to say any of this. I'm literally just taking your guys' suggestions, analyzing them for you guys. And as always, leave a comment down below which coins you want to see next. Anyway, on the weekly chart, what can we see? Well, Matic is looking, of course, bearish like everything is on the weekly chart right now. However, we can draw out this key level here, which is the previous area of supply. And this is what we reacted off when we pushed up to $1.30 before dropping back down to 80 cents. Now, can we see anything of value below us? Well, yes, I can see a couple of levels. Well, the main level I'd like to look at is this level here. Now, this is between 41 and 61 cents. So this is a level that I think is very important to look at as it is a level of demand on the weekly chart. Now, I'm not saying we're gonna go all the way back down there, but I just want you to know if we do, then that is the level you wanna keep your eye on because that is a major, major level that we could see a huge bounce from if we were to make it down there. If we go to the one day chart now, what can we see? Well, you see we reacted off this level up here of supply, which is around the $1.13 and that pushed us all the way back down to the 75 to 80 cent mark. Now there's really, you know, it's unfortunate to say, but there's really nothing looking to push this up. There's obviously this overall level of support that we may continue to bounce from, but in terms of unmitigated levels, you know, it does look like we kind of come back down to around 64 cents if we don't hold the current level we're at. So what I, the first warning I want to issue for this coin is as good as it is in terms of, you know, collecting new users, you've got to remember a lot of people still think Bitcoin's going to go down. And if it does, that means coins are going to go down as well with it. And I would say that if we do see more bearish price action, we will see Matic going back down to below 65 cents. But do not think of that as a bad thing. Think of that as a great opportunity, obviously not financial advice, but if you're interested in the coin, that's just an even better price to pick it up at. And in my opinion, from that weekly chart level we've just devised, that could be a great opportunity to buy in there because we may see a huge reaction and pump from that level, maybe 50 to 100% gains. So that is one thing to note. That's kind of like that worst case scenario just hanging over us, but I would definitely mark that level on your chart, guys. And if we do continue to hold this level, we've got a couple of resistances to watch out for on the daily chart. The first one I'm going to be watching out for is 88 cents. So if we do a 10% gain from here, we do have a level of supply that may lead us to come down again because I want you to see, you know, we do have these big bearish candles. And also, I want you to see there's a lot more bearish volume than there is bullish volume overall. Now, that being said, there's a few nice bullish candles in here. However, like I said, I think just the bears do have this one at the moment, just based on general market sentiment. But that doesn't mean it can't break it. And what would we need to see to show a proper break in market structure? Well, we would need to see it break at least around a dollar first. If we can break a dollar for Matic, I would expect us to then push up towards a dollar 25, which would be a nice 25% gain from that level. And then if we can break a dollar 30, guys, that's where things get exciting, because that's when I truly think we'd push up towards the two dollar level once again and I would genuinely be targeting two dollars as my next target so if we do see a $1.30 break we could expect to see up to a 60% gain on the price and again that would be very significant so in terms of prices to watch guys 65 to 40 cents as like a major buy zone accumulation zone it's what I've been saying I'm going to be doing these accumulation zones for you guys now if you are interested and also in terms of a break we need to break a dollar and then we also need to break a dollar 30 to see some major bullish momentum so I hope that helps and I hope that makes your mind up on about whether you want to get involved 
involved in the market right now. Obviously, it is your choice what you want to do with your own money. I will do my own thing, and I personally will probably wait for that accumulation zone or for a break of major structure. Now, guys, let me know in the comments which coin you want to see next time. I can cover any coin you want, and a few of the ones I've got in the list. I've got XRP coming up soon, uh, Zillica I know you guys have been asking for, and a few others, so let me know and I'll cover them. Also, make sure you watch the other videos I've done. I've covered BNB, Ethereum, Bitcoin, VeChain so far. So yeah, make sure you go and watch them and follow the links in the description if you want to join our free trading groups, follow our Twitter, and also use some great exchanges. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.